Hey guys, um, stop it in and talk to you again today. Uh, right now, man, you know, you guys may say, you know, hey, uh, where does he come up with all this stuff? You know what, man, life is going on 24 seven and we see so much, I don't know about you, but you know, I'm very sensitive. I try to be very sensitive and stay very sensitive to everything going on around me because I, first of all, I wanna be very aware of what God is saying and doing so that I can be obedient and, and move according to His will. And we have to be aware of one another, but I wanna you know, talk to you right now about um, a very important issue, which is you know, our children. I wanna ask you a question. Who, who is the God of your child? Is it, is it God our Father or is it, is it their cell phones? I was just uh, talking to a group of uh, teenagers and you know, they're all in, in the office and getting in trouble and different things, uh, getting in trouble with parents and teachers and you know, different things for, you know, because the cell phone has more power over them than their parents, than their teachers and authorities and they won't, they don't want to turn these cell phones loose. They, they feel like, uh, and the one, the, the one comment I heard was, and well, from the group of the teenagers, they said that the cell phone is life. Wow. The last time I checked, you know, God is life. His Holy Spirit is what gives me life. He, I have life because He spoke me into existence and breathed. He's, he's the breath of life that is in me right now. His Spirit is life. And so when we lose our kids to, you know, cell phones, you know, the, the little gadgets, it's really more cell phones because their comment was that they can do everything on a cell phone. But what they failed to acknowledge and understand is that the cell phone is making them very lazy. They're not going outside to play and enjoy life and each other and, and the things of life and do things that are appropriate for their age. They're on websites and social medias and contacting people and doing things that are not appropriate for their age and not any benefit to their lives. They, they, they're looking at sites that are inappropriate. They're saying things that are inappropriate. They're learning and doing all things that are inappropriate on their phones. They're not using the phones to learn. They're not using the phones to look up anything that's for their education and that's going to benefit them. They're looking up things that are nothing. So our phone, like, um, you know, what somebody's doing, what's funny, or who's doing something silly, or who's bullying someone, or who's uh, name calling, you know, or who's who's cute, who's not, who's in, who's out, who's hot, who's up, who's down. Nothing about education and anything that's feeding them for their lives, for their spirit, or for their future. And they're not doing what they should be doing in their grades because they're in class and teachers are fighting, spending 70% of their times um, I know because I've seen it firsthand. Um, fighting, you know, trying to get kids to put their cell phone away instead of parents. I know as a, as a parent, I don't allow my, my child to take cell phone to school. That is not a fight that teachers should have to have. We live very fine, uh, well without cell phone. You do, your child does not have to have a cell phone and they certainly don't have to have one at school. It's not a crime for you to have a cell phone for your child, but you should you should be uh, very much in tune with what they're doing on the cell phone and they should be following your commands as to not have a cell phone out at school getting in trouble and you have to pay a fine to get that phone back. Are they doing things that they shouldn't be doing, taking pictures of people in locker rooms and in classes and things of that nature and posting them on social medias. Parents have to stop being their kids' friends and be their kid's parent. And you should you should be teaching them what to do with the phone and also monitoring that. You should know your child's code. You should get that phone anytime at random and go through it, see who they're following, what their conversations are to protect your child and make sure that your child is not violating someone else. And so, you know, cell phones have become most children's God and God does not like that and you as a parent should be very aware of that danger. Technology is not bad, it's how we use it. It's how we govern ourselves. If you govern yourself, you can govern the world. If you can't govern yourself, then you are, just, you, you are a menace to the world because you're gonna make very bad decisions because you don't know how, you don't have self-control. And we really have to be mindful and we really need to step up our game as parents and, and we're not just our children. You have to be mindful of all children. Be a parent. 
be a parent, love people. When you see kids, you see them going the wrong way, you know, hey, try to say something positive to them. You don't have to be their parent. Say something nice or positive that may make them think. Or, you know, you know say something that will challenge them to, to answer a question about themselves that will make them think about what they're doing. We, it takes a village to raise a child. That, that, that hasn't changed. But parents are too busy get, trying to be their kids' friends and using phones as babysitters. Get these kids out of the bedrooms, out of the TV, sit with them at the kitchen table, eat dinner together, sit in the living room, talk and have conversations, and stop looking down at your cell phones. You're, you're losing your children to cell phones. Cell phones have become the god of, the t of kids, and that's horrible. Because it's not teaching them about God. They're not looking up things about God. They're not looking up things about respect. TV teaches them and cell phone and all the images that they see tell them not to have respect for God, not to have respect for their parents, not to have respect for authority figures, not to have for uh, uh, any self-respect for one another. And it's teaching them to have mindless behavior, which means that they are zombies to the cell phones. They're zombies. They're not thinking for themselves. They can't spell the way they should. They can't write the way that they should. They're not thinking critically the way they should. They're not making decisions the way they should because they're depending on the cell phone to tell them what is life. Their words were, a cell phone is life, and that is a lie. That is wrong. We make cell phones. Cell phones don't make us. So, hey guys, let us wake up. Pay attention. Be focused on the right thing. Stop just thinking about survival. Stop coming home from work and thinking about what you've done and what you want to do. You have you have kids. You chose to have them. Now you got to deny yourself and raise them. So don't just give them a cell phone and let their babysit them. Let's talk to our kids. Let's love on them. Let's go outside and play and have fun and live life and love life. There's only one order in the world, God, guys, and that's God's order. And that is the only order in the world, and that is the true world order. Hey, I love you, but God loves you more. God's excited about your future. So am I. Come on, guys. Let's make this thing work.